Hi everyone, this time I will show you how to knit a sock with a pair of circular needles. I will start for this sock with 20, no, with 56 stitches. And I have, you can find the chart at my website and there you can see how many stitches you need for each needle. But it's, it's approximately so you should, you should do a swatch before knitting. And I will start by casting on. We need a lot of yarn for 56 stitches. And we start with a slip knot for this. Make a circle and put the long strand under the circle. Pull the long strand through and you have here a loop. I will take both needles for casting on because the etching will be much more elastic. Then tighten the yarn and take both strands and form a triangle. Then you take your needles and first you go under the thumb strand and you push the other strand through the loop. Now you have a second stitch. One more time. Tighten your strands. Go under the sum strand and push the other strand through the loop and tighten. Repeat this until you have your desired number of stitches. These are my, not 20, I always say 20, 56 stitches, yeah. Now I will pull one needle out of here. And then I will place it in the middle of our cord. And now you have to count half of your stitches. And I will have 28. So what is this weight? Okay. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, and twenty-eight. So here is our center. Now we'll Pull the cord between in between here. And make sure the stitches do not twist. Then we have to know where we have our short strand and where is the long strand. Here's the short one, I will cut it. Okay. So on this side is the long strand, this will be the working needle. And this needle, we put here our stitches on. And this cord has to be long enough to work with the needle. And now we will start with our edging. This one will be a ribbing knit one per one. And to do this, I will start with the rib stitch and I will knit one and purl one. To knit, insert your needle on the back side of the loop 
from above, grab the yarn, pull the yarn through and take it off. For purling, bring the yarn on to the front side, insert the needle into the stitch from above, on the front side, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch, take it off. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and we continue doing this until the end of this needle side So this is the first side and now I have to replace my working needle for this to my work. And I pull on I pull this cord and I pull the needle through the stitches. And this needle I pull this out. And this is my new working needle and I will do at this point the same again. Knit one and purl one. And if you reach this side again, we started by knitting one, purling one, and in the second round we will do the same, we will knit one, purl one. So it is not as usual as you know this from flat knitting, so that you turn your work, we work here in our round, so we have to do the same stitches all the round long, all across the round. And you have to knit this until you reach your desired length. So you don't have to count the rounds. You have only to, to look for the length. So this is the length of my elastic edging. And now I will start to work the shaft or the part for your leg. And I will do this only with, with the knit stitch. And if you start the new round, you knit your stitches only with the knit stitch. And you can work the knit stitch also like this. You enter the needle. Like this, grab the yarn, pull it through and take it off. So you can insert your needle from above on the back side. 
but you can also insert the needle from the bottom on the front side and this is also the knit stitch so you insert the needle from the bottom through the stitch grab the yarn pull it through and take it off And you continue working this with the knit stitch and you continue doing this until you have your desired length. So mine is approximately five centimeters. All around here with the knit stitch. To shape the heel we have to decrease our stitches, choose one side, doesn't matter which one you choose and we have to decrease always at the beginning of the row and we will decrease until we have one third of our stitches, one third of the number of our stitches. The first stitch you can edit it in the normal way that what your pattern says. I will knit the first stitch with the knit stitch. Then you have your decrease. Knit these two stitches together and knit them as it would be only one stitch. So I insert my hook through both stitches grab the yarn and pull it through both stitches and take it off all the other stitches you knit them in the knit stitch or the pattern which you have knit this until you have one stitch left And if you have one stitch left, don't knit it, take it off. After finishing the first row, turn your work. And we are knitting only this side, ignore this one, so we don't switch the needles. And now we are not working in, in the circle anymore, so we have to knit one row and to purl one row. So I will start purling the first stitch. Purl the first stitch. And then you have your decrease, knit two together. And I will I will do the same here also with purling. So insert your needle into the next two stitches, grab the yarn. Pull it through and take it off. All the other stitches you have to knit them in your stitch pattern or what your pattern says. Here we have the purl stitch until the end of the row. the row until you have one stitch left
and take off the last stitch. Turn your work and in this row you have to use the knit stitch, so knit the first stitch, decrease, knit all the other stitches and then take off the last stitch. Um, and you have to do this until you have one third of your stitches. So if you have nine stitches, you have to knit in this way or to decrease until you have three. And then we will pick up the stitches again. After finishing the decreasing, this should look like this. And now we will pick up the stitches on each side. For this, you can see here something like a V and for picking up stitches I will insert my needle under this V and you grab your yarn pull it through and you have picked up one stitch now we will knit all the other stitches with the first stitch And we will also purl the last stitch. Then you turn your work. And at this side we have also to pick up our stitches. We search for a V. Insert your needle. Grab the yarn. Pull it through. You have picked up your stitch. And now we will knit all the stitches. And we will continue doing this until we have our number of the stitches which we had at the beginning. And this will form your heel. Now you can see I picked up the stitches and this is my heel. I have 27 stitches but I should have 28 so I have to pick up one more. I will do this so I can't see a V but I will pick up one stitch here somewhere in between that I have my number which I should have but I will not uh, knit this row back because we have to knit in this direction so I will put this stitch onto this needle I will continue knitting in the round in this direction. So the stockinette side should face you, otherwise you have to purl and this is not as comfortable as the knit stitch. And if this side is facing you, we can knit. And now we will shape the foot and you need this until you have the length of your foot and you should leave enough space for your toes. So we will also have to shape the toe section. 
afterwards. Yeah, now you continue knitting as you already know as we did it for the shaft. If you want to change the color, you should do this after finishing the round. And you can see this where your short strain is from the beginning. And if it is here, then this side is the finishing of a round or the end of a round. And here is the short strain of the, the yarn before. And to join the new color, you can take a new yarn. And then you need two stitches. With a new yarn. And I usually tie it. Like this. And this way you can hide the yarn between uh, the stitches here on the inner side of the sock so that it can be seen outside. And yeah, now you can continue knitting with the new color. And if you want to go back to the color before, you have also to finish around and then you can change change it in the same way um, if you want to knit stripes so stripe sock and maybe your stripe is only one or two rounds then you can you can leave the yarn which you had before like this and then you can you can grab it after two rounds so you don't have to to tie it every time If you want to start with the toe section, we have to decrease again. And now we will decrease at four points of the sock. We will decrease once at the beginning of, of this row, at the end of this row, and also at the beginning of this row and at the end of this row. We knit the first stitch on this needle. Then we decrease, we knit two stitches together. We knit all the other stitches until we have three stitches left. Now we have three stitches left, we will decrease these two stitches, so we need two together.
then we knit the last stitch and now we turn our work and continue knitting in the round and we will do the same here we will knit the first stitch And we will decrease at the beginning of this row. And we will decrease once at the end of this row. And when we finish this row, we have to knit two rounds, only knitting, without decreasing. So after one round of decreasing, we knit two normal rounds. After these two rounds, we will have one round of decreasing again. And you will do the same as I already showed you, so you will knit the first stitch, then you will knit two together, knit all the stitches until you have three left, knit two together and knit the last stitch. You will do the same here and after this round of decreasing you will knit only one round with a knit stitch without decreasing. After decreasing one round and knitting one round, we will decrease every round and also the same way as I already showed you. We will knit the first stitch, decrease the next two. Knit all the stitches until we have three stitches left. Knit two together and the last one will be the normal knit stitch. And also the other side. And we will continue doing this until we have maybe six or four stitches left. And then we will close the sock. So you can see here already we have we have slide so the sock is thinner a little bit you can see this yeah you continue doing this every round If you have four stitches left on each needle, you can take a wool needle and you can cut your yarn. And then we'll pull the yarn through all the stitches and we'll, we will tighten it. I'm grabbing all the stitches, take it off onto my onto my wool needle, and then you pull through the yarn. And I will do the same here. Then I I put the the needle into the sock and I pull it inside out.
Now we tighten our stitches like this. Our sock is now closed and now we have to hide the yarn and also to, to knot the section. Now we can cut the yarn and we will hide this one or these two, we can cut them, this is okay. Make sure just not too tight here, otherwise you will see this and this is not so nice. And we can cut this one too and then you're done. And you have your first knitted sock, or a very easy one.